Hello friends, this video on whole numbers part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's move on to the third property that is associative property. So what do you think are we going to talk about in associative property of addition of whole numbers? Now associative property that means some kind of association between two or more numbers, some kind of uh, connection or some kind of bonding between two or more numbers. So let us have a look at associative property. Now in associative property we are going to consider three numbers. So let's say 13 plus 6 plus 2. So where 13 plus 6 is inside bracket. Now how would you calculate this value? Now the simple way we calculate is first we do the operation which is inside the brackets. So 13 plus 6 is 19 plus 2 that is 21. Now what if I change the positions of these three digits? So now earlier in commutative property, we had two numbers. So we just exchanged their positions. But now we have three numbers. So there are different ways in which we can change their position. So we basically do not change the position. What we do is, so you see the position remains the same. We just change the position of the bracket. So now we put the bracket here. The moment we put the bracket here, what happens? How do we calculate it? We now perform the operation which is inside bracket first. So it becomes 13 plus. So this operation will be done first, which is 8. And the result is still 21. So when we have to add three numbers, whether we add the first two numbers first and then add the sum to the third or we add the second and third numbers first and then add their sum to the first. In both the cases, we get the same result. Now, let us take one more example to verify this fact. Let's say we consider three numbers 5, 0 and 1. So the result here would be 5 plus 1 which is equal to 6. Now if the same thing we perform in a little different way. So what happens in this case also we see that the result is the same. So therefore what do we conclude? We conclude that if we have three whole numbers A, B, C then A plus B plus C is equal to A plus B plus C. So this is what we have concluded. So the conclusion is addition is associative. So this means so this is a kind of association between the three whole numbers. This is a kind of association between the two addition operations. Whether you perform the addition of the first two numbers first or the last two numbers first, the result will remain the same. And that is why we say addition is associative. So in a similar way for associative property also we will look at the other operations. So let us start with subtraction. So here also subtraction is not associative. Let us illustrate this with an example. So let's say 13 minus 5 minus 2. So we have considered three whole numbers 13, 5 and 2 in this case. So what would how would we calculate this 13 minus 5 is 8 minus 2. So this is equal to 6. Now let us change the position of the brackets that is 13 minus 5 minus 2. So this becomes 5 minus 2 is 3. So the result here is 10. So we observe that here in this case the results in the two cases are not same. So we observe that a minus b minus c is not equal to a minus b minus c. So this is not true for subtraction. Therefore, subtraction is not associative. Let's talk about multiplication. So in multiplication, again, we see that it is associative. That means if we take something like this, 2 into 3 into 5. So what do we get? 6 into 5, which is equal to 30. Now, if the same thing, we do it like this, 2 into 3 into 5. So 3 into 5 is 15, so 2 into 15 is 30. So we get the same result in both the cases. So, it, so this is one example. Let us take another example. Let's say 1 into 0 multiplied by 3. So 1 into 0 is 0 into 3 which is equal to 0. Now the same thing with 
a different format 1 into 0 into 3 would be 1 into 0 which is equal to 0. So in both of these cases what we observe is a into b into c is equal to a into b into c. So basically multiplication is associative in whole numbers. I hope you would have guessed by now that division is also not associative because till now we have been observing that multiplication and addition they go hand in hand and a subtraction and division they go together. So let's look at some examples here. So let's say 10 divided by 5 divided by 1. So this becomes 2 divided by 1 which is equal to 2. Now the same thing we perform in different order that is 10 divided by 5 divided by 1. So what do you get? You get 10 divided by 5. So as a result you get 2. Wow you have got same result in both the cases. So does that mean that division is associative? What do you think? Do you want to give it a thought? Okay, let's give it a thought and let's try it out with some other example. So this is one example. So let us try it out with another example. So let's take this example. 16 divided by 4 divided by 2. So what do you get? 4 divided by 2 which is equal to 2. Now the same thing let's perform it in this way. 16 divided by 4 divided by 2. So this is 16 divided by 2 and this is equal to 8. Oh so now again you are getting different results. So the if because if division is associative it has to hold true for all the examples that we consider. Now in one example we got it right in another example we didn't get it right. So should we give a try to the third example? Okay let's give a try. Let's say 32 divided by 4 divided by 2. So this is 8 divided by 2 which is equal to 4. Now 32 divided by 4 divided by 2. This is 32 divided by 2. So this is equal to 16. So in this case also we arrive at different results. So that means division is not associative. Now you might ask that okay if division is not associative then why the result was same in this case? Because this is just a matter of chance that for a certain set of data it might hold true. But overall universally it doesn't hold true for all whole numbers. Therefore we say that A divided by B divided by C is not equal to A divided by B divided by C. So this is our overall result. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.